Hey man, you want some coffee? Well, now let me tell you why that language is problematic. We should be specific. What exactly do you mean by that, okay? The concept doesn't have much utility in and of itself. And I don't just mean our interest in diluting it with various amounts of cream and sugar and all that, though that is a factor. But the state of the word, it could mean the finished liquid product that you find at any corner shop, but the word also refers to the physical bean, which wouldn't do either of us much good unless we had a grinder, which we do, okay, fair enough, but then you would need more than one bean for it to make any impact. So, as you wouldn't call a grain of sand a beach, now you have to ask about how many beans fulfill the original need. Now, perhaps we do deduce that I want liquid coffee and we agree on the terms when it comes to additional ingredients and we know how much I want. Well, it turns out if that's the end of the conversation, I'm going to burn my hands. I need a vessel of some kind, a porcelain mug with a witty saying, though it doesn't necessarily have to be porcelain or have a saying at all. Well, now you would say that the cup isn't coffee, but suddenly it's an additional requirement to answer that question in the affirmative. So you see, we have all these additional presuppositions parasitically attached to the original concept, and that concept is now impossible to separate from what it's become. All right, I'm just going to say you don't need any more. Okay, but then what is need? Well, that's neoliberalism for you.